what's up y'all it's your girl christina thank you so much for tuning back into my channel today and as you can see from the title today we're doing something totally different i'm showing you guys how i relaxed my hair um i did it on my own i use professional products um, that my stylist used but i was able to find them at an urban beauty store this was the best thing ever because i saved 200 bucks okay but my hair is in the stage of growing out i wanted to have a little bit more lint to it well a lot of bit more lint so i was just like thinking about going natural then i was thinking about the relaxer mm. from the looks of it you can see the relaxer one okay love how it came out this is the finished product and everything so I'm really, you know, loving the look, but I show you step-by-step step how I do it, the products that I use. Also, I'm gonna list the products in the description box. And it didn't take me long. It was a really, you know, easy process. I didn't know how I was gonna style it because I didn't know how it was gonna come out and what the lint was gonna be. But uh, I just started putting curls in there and here it goes. Super easy. If you wanna follow along, you can definitely do this at home. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comment box and I'll get back with you. Like the video, give it two thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get a notification every time I do a video. Thank you guys and I hope you enjoy. I'll see y'all next time. Okay, these are the products that we're gonna be using. The Affirm Sensitive, a relaxer with the activation solution, a neutralizing shampoo by ISO Plus, Caracare hydrating detangling shampoo, and moisturizing conditioner. First, you're going to start off by mixing the activating solution with the relaxer. When you purchase the relaxer in the store, it's going to come with the solution, so you don't have to buy it separately. You're going to empty the whole bottle into the container, and you're going to mix it until it's all mixed up into a creamy texture. Once that's done, I'm going to set it to the side. I'm going to section off my hair in four. As you can see, it's already done here. Now I'm just going through it and detangling my hair just a little bit more to make it easier when I, add, when I start adding the relaxer. Now it's time to start adding the relaxer. I'm using a relaxer brush that you can also find in a beauty supply store. I'm starting at the nape of my neck, working my way up. If you notice, I'm making sure I'm getting it right at the root of my hair, but not on my scalp. Also, I'm not going all the way to the ends of my hair because I don't want to over process that part. So I'm mainly focusing on the new growth. Also, I wanted to mention I did not use a protector or a base for my scalp because I never really have issues with burning or being irritated by the relaxer because the method I'm doing it by taking my time, not getting it on my scalp. And then I'm using a sensitive relaxer, which allows me to um, have the relaxer in a little bit longer and it doesn't irritate my scalp. So that's why I didn't use um, any type of base or protector. But if you know you have a sensitive scalp and burn easily, please use a protector first.
Okay, now I'm finished adding the relaxer into my entire head. All four sections are done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start all over and just kind of like work that relaxer in just by parting it and just kind of smoothing each section down. Um, it didn't take me long to do that, probably just like five minutes, but I just wanted to go over each, each section and make sure that that relaxer was really saturated in there at the roots and worked all the way in. Okay, now that that's done, it's time to rinse that relaxer out. When I tell you I rinse probably like 10 minutes straight. <laughs> Not really 10 minutes, I'm over exaggerating, but I really, really rinsed all over thoroughly until the relaxer was gone. Once I finished, I added the neutralizing shampoo and that helps really get all of the relaxer out and it lets you know if there's still relaxer left in your head. So if the shampoo starts to turn pink, it's an indicator that you still have relaxer and that you need to wash again. But I washed three times just to really make sure all that relaxer was gone. Now that I'm finished neutralizing, I'm going to use the Hydrating Detangling Shampoo by Caracare. I actually washed with this one twice. Before I add the conditioner, I'm going to towel dry my hair to get most of the water out. The conditioner penetrates your hair more when it's damp versus wet. Okay, I just finished rinse, rinsing my conditioner out. It seemed like it took pretty good. But I don't know, we're going to see. I got the dryer going because I'm going to sit under the dryer. I don't know how I'm going to style my hair because this is a grow out because i used to have a pixie cut so i let it grow out for a couple of months and it's in that in between stage i've been wearing wigs so i haven't wore probably like um two months so now we're about to see what it's gonna do i don't know what to do with it but we'll see i'll curl it some type of way pin it up or whatever um push come to shove if i can make a ponytail i'm putting a ponytail i'm about to spray this leave-in conditioner it's a sin this is really really good um so I'm going to coat my hair with this. Just a few sprays. This is a Nairobi hair shine gloss that I'm using just to add some sheen to my hair before I curl it. I didn't add a heat protector. I normally don't. Maybe I should, but I didn't. I don't like to add a lot of products to my hair because I feel like when I don't, it helps my curls last longer. But I don't know. Let me know you guys experience in the comment box. Let me know what you think. Here I'm using a Rusk flat iron, a ceramic iron and it's in the size uh, one inch. I don't remember exactly where I got this from, but I'm pretty sure you can find it at any beauty store. I like this iron a lot because it does not get too hot. And that's the key to relax hair when you're flat, iron, flat ironing it, is not to have your iron too hot. Your curls come out softer and last longer when it's not. As you can see, I'm curling my hair in the same direction I molded it. Um, this would be the same uh, pattern that I used when I had my pixie cut. So I'm just following the same thing and just seeing what I come up with.
Okay, I think we got something here. I'm actually liking it. This is very different for me because my hair was much shorter than this, but I do like it longer. Hmm. It came out pretty good. I must say I'm satisfied. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning into my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, please. And I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.